When someone comes to my office uh, to hire me to represent them on a criminal case, they want to know that they're going to be treated fairly. They're going to be treated fairly by us, and they're going to be treated fairly by the prosecution. In my practice, we handle cases all the way from low-level misdemeanor traffic offenses up to first-degree murder. We handle sex offenses, we handle white-collar cases, I do environmental crimes. So there's not any one specific type of case that we do on a daily basis. We do all sorts of criminal cases. We sit down and really get deep in the weeds on trying to interpret whether or not a statute has been written constitutionally or whether it's constitutionally applied to our client. And we are not afraid to get up and litigate those issues. Based upon my experience as a prosecutor, doing state prosecution and federal prosecution, I've seen the other side. I know what motivates a prosecutor. I know what doesn't motivate a prosecutor. I know how a prosecutor might need to explain or answer to victims, to the police officers involved in the case. These are all things that are critical in how we analyze a case and how we approach a prosecutor for negotiations or how we decide to maybe file certain motions and wait on other ones in lieu of maybe presenting a theory at trial. I represent people one at a time. And when I represent people one at a time, I get to know them. I get to know their spouses. I get to know their brothers and sisters and their parents and their friends. And so these cases, they don't just start and finish in a week or two weeks. Sometimes these cases last over a year. And so I really get to experience life through my clients and I get to consequently become a part of their life. And so after a case is over, I still stay in touch with so many of my former clients. And, and I find that part of what I do extremely rewarding.